to come on the field. I'll run through with the Featherstone team as they're out first. John Strange is at full back with Eddie Rombo, Dave Kimmel, Darren Hughes, and Paul Gledel at three quarters. The half backs, Daniel Summers from Bradford and Paddy Hanley from Leeds. Roy Powell, Colin Lasky, Craig Jackson in the front row, Tony Miller, Danny Baker, and Richard Slater making up the pack with Lee Mayer, Richard Chapman, Matt Lambert, and Richard Gunn, the substitutes. That's seven former Leeds players. And Leeds taking the field now, led by their captain, Gary Mercer. And uh, I'll just run through the Leeds team for you. Damien Gibson is at fullback. Paul Sterling, Richie Blackmore, Francis Cummins, and Adam Hughes at three quarters with Tony Kemp and Ryan Sheridan, the half backs. Marty Masella, Terry Newton, Barry McDermott. Adrian Morley, Anthony Farrell and Gary Mercer make up the pack and the substitutes today are Graham Holroyd, Phil Hassan, Dean Lawford and Nick Fozard. And one thing we haven't really talked about is the Leeds half-back combination. Big day for Tony Kemp, making his first start after his serious arm injury uh, from the beginning. And Ryan Sheridan, again, the two of them started on the bench last week. They've got the jerseys and I think... Uh, particularly in the early stages, they could well have a bearing on today's game. And looking at the size of Richie Blackmore, the first time we've seen him in combat gear, he, he's even dwarfing the prop forwards at the moment. He made Adrian Morley look small when they ran out. Yes, he is a tremendous uh, sight when he uh, gets into full rampage. I didn't, unfortunately, go to St Helens when uh, the uh, Alliance team played there. Um, so I miss Richie Blackmore's appearance, but apparently, by all accounts, he was awesome. And uh, as I said, we said before, big game expected him today. Nice to see Roy Powell back here. Uh, always one of the gentlemen of the game, Roy. Yes, I think win, lose or draw, Roy will never change. He's uh, been a credit to the game. He's honours at the highest level. One of the few players to have won a test match against every other playing nation, which not many can say. And uh, as an absolute credit to his profession. There by Roy Powell and Danny Baker. And now it's Faddle's turn. Faddle will just go forward. That's his game. That's what he does best. Newton finds Kemp. Kemp running with the football inside ball there, taken on by Barry McDermott. Is this going to be the first try for Leeds? It is indeed tremendous play from Kemp there. What a great try from Barry McDermott. What a fantastic pass from Tony Kemp. A wonderful move on the last tackle. It really looked as though Leeds were static, but... But he hasn't really offloaded today because he's been well wrapped up by Leeds. Baker again. Oh, stepping inside. Poor defence from Leeds. Baker running for the line. Gibson's chasing him. He's not going to catch him. He's on his back. That's a try, though. Poor play from Leeds there, allowing the man to step inside. Poor defence from Marker, Danny. And Danny Baker's quick, we've just seen that. Poor Marker defence from acting half. These days. And that's straight through the middle, is it? It is indeed, and that gives Featherston an unlikely lead. Phil. Yes, certainly, Leeds did everything right for 17 minutes. We talked about keeping it going and perhaps even a period of consolidation. One move from Featherston got the belief flooding back. That was with Neil Summers instigating a 50-60 metre break. And from that, they've just kicked on. And uh, you have to say, the last four or five minutes, Featherston have looked very threatening. All right, so Featherston will be kicking off, and Leeds really now know they're in for the game of it. Any thoughts they have that it was going to be easy, and that Featherston would be easily contained in their own half of the field, has uh, been proved wrong. Not that Leeds probably were guilty of that, but it was a good play from Danny Baker. And, uh, very, very pacey young lad for a second row. We've heard big things about him, and uh, that showed. Kemp finds Marley, and Marley straight through Paddy Anley's tackle. And look, to pass the football out of the tackle, and a good job he didn't, but he was swarmed by Featherston players there. Newton was in support, but not in the right place. Newton finds McDermott, McDermott. Again, taking three men to bring him down, four men almost in at the tackle. Roy Powell just slowing things down at the play of the ball, sensible play from him. Newton spots a gap, goes himself in the half, makes the break. He's got Damien Gibson with him. Can't get the ball away there, good defence from Baker again. Magnificent play from Newton. A long ball out there for Cummins, Cummins stepping, looks to go himself. He could have perhaps used Adam Hughes outside him again, Leeds using that short side. Kemp going himself, heading for the line, oh, he's only a metre short, Kemp coming up to the last tackle. Faddle, will he go over himself from dummy half? He will, that's a try to Leeds from dummy half, and that's a sloppy try to concede. How many times have we seen Leeds concede? Just in 20 metre area. Leeds playing football down the middle of the field. Gary Mercer runs himself straight through Paddy Hanley. That's good running from Mercer. Ten metres from the Featherston line. And Leeds, all Leeds at the moment on the attack. Comes out here to Tony Kemp. Kemp puts Masella through a gap. That's going to be the first try for the club for Martin Masella. And he's going round under the post. Lovely try for Leeds. Lovely play there all the way up the field. That try looks on from the minute Leeds got the football. That's right. Soon as Featherston... Keithley nil, St Helens four. And here comes Francis Cummins. Straight through the middle. That's his first success of the afternoon. This 
is Radio Rhino. And that's um, Powell into the arms of Fozard and Masella. And now it's Johnson, and he's running at Fozard and uh, Dean Lawford, and again brought down. So Featherston, 10 metres from the Leeds line, looking to exploit things. Maskill gets Danny Baker running. Oh, it's too easy, too easy. What a poor defensive display from Leeds there, too easy. Again, the inside pass has closed the undoing from acting halfback. It was a simple move. That's, that's two great tries from the Aussie uh, second rower. Maskell converts. Leeds 12, Leeds 14, Featherston 12. And again, perhaps it's a case of uh, Leeds sitting back when they think they've got a big enough lead. We've seen it against Whitehaven, we've seen it against Dewsbury. Uh, we saw it there. Leeds went into a 14-6 gap, the biggest margin they've had, and immediately a peg back again. Yes, and... Uh, well, although we did see it against Whitehaven, we did see it against Dewes, we didn't see it so early in the game. It's got to be a worry for Leeds, they're not going to get that far in front that they can afford to slack off. Maskell then with the kick. Well, Leeds scored within six tackles of the kick-off from last time, and now they'd love to do that again. Adrian Morley, the ball returner. Just over the 20 metres before he's brought down, Lawford will look to switch play with Mercer coming down the short side. Mercer straight out of Darren Hughes' tackle, and uh, Paddy Hanley bringing him down. Hazard. Flat pass there, but gets the ball back to Lawford. Lawford stepping, going himself into the Featherson half of the field. That was good play from the big prop forward, Fozard. And good support Leeds play using, as well. Yes, losing Masella now to badge their way forward. That's the way to do it. Straight down the middle of the field, Martin Masella. Now the ball in the hands of Sheridan. Sheridan looks to spin the ball out to Kemp, looking for the run around now to bring the backs in. Sheridan runs himself, splits the defence there. Oh, that's Damien Gibson in for the try. That's a try to lead. And again, they've scored it in six tackles to restore that advantage. Well, you predicted it there, you called it just right. The last time, Leeds wasted no time in going up the field after Featherston had scored to put We've them had on. A, a little bit of everything today. It's been been great so far. That's right, and a lot of um, good defence as well from both sides. Cummins right. converts, as we'd expected him to. Good try from Leeds, Dan. Yeah, well, we we'll try again. Um, coming back on the inside of Because that's where Marcella does his tackling, right up the middle of the field. In fact, he stood on the centre spot right now as Roy Powell runs into him. And there goes a hold for half time then. 40 minutes gone, Leeds 20, Featherston Rovers 12. It was Leeds at open the score with Barry McDermott, who scored the last try last week and the first try of this one. It was 4 0, too wide out for Cummins' goal in. Featherston took the lead when Danny Baker went in after bad, poor marker defence from Leeds. Maskell converted, 6 points to 4. Leads it back within a set of 6 when Anthony Faddle forced his way over on the last tackle from Dummy Half and it was 8 6. And then Martin Marcella had his first try of the club after a great run by Terry Newton. Cummins converted and it was 14 points to six. Then Featherston it back again when Danny Baker went over for his second try. Maskill converting after again an inside ball had caught Leeds napping. But Leeds scored again within six tackles when Damien Gibson made the full use of a great break by Ryan Sheridan up the middle of the field. Used his pace, went in from 35 metres out. Cummins converted. Leeds 20, Featherston Rovers 12. Right again. Richard Good, dummies, goes himself. Gets the ball away, Maskill. Maskell going himself, good defence from Leeds and it needs to be because Leeds are under the cush again they're only five metres out for Dustin a try now would certainly put the cat among the pigeons and the referee spotted an offence there, Damien Gibson being pulled out a yellow card for Damien Gibson for something that's happened in the tackle I think that must be for deliberate holding down, Featherston were on a roll a bit of... Uh, Despite they should have head and ball at the feed, they've got it and they've got the ball out. And rightly, ball. rightly so, Leeds looking to bring Barry McDermott back. Kemp, that's a lovely ball for Cummins. Cummins steps now as he got the legs. Cummins, that could be the winning try for Leeds. It's a bit early to say that, but Cummins is going to go around under the post. Well, he would do because he has to kick the goals this afternoon. Lovely break there, lovely ball. And uh, Sterling are off back on are Hassan and McDermott with Cummins kicking the goal. Radio Rhino, join the charge. 1404 AM. Another fine accolade for the youngster. Yes, tremendous points accumulated, Graham Holroyd. As his knockers and his detractors. But not me. As Barry McDermott lets me know regularly. Holroyd successful, and that takes him up then. Yes, there's about seven minutes left, I think. A tackle that leads you ten metres from that Featherson line. Looking for a big push from Barry McDermott. Lawford goes himself. McDermott. Oh, just a metre short there. You could see the anticipation there in the crowd when uh, McDermott was going for the line. Newton then finds Lawford. Lawford to Holroyd. Holroyd will look to spin that ball across to Shiddy and looks for the run around. Lovely ball out for Cummins. Cummins. Oh, easy. It's too easy. Great run there for 
Duncan Francis Cummings. Lovely try. Finishing off there with a flourish lead. Lovely ball from Hall right again. I think as well, though, you have to feel a little bit sorry for Featherstone. The margin is right in the terms of the fact that Leeds have scored six tries to two. But uh, at the end of the day, 32-12, uh, the gap perhaps will we'll look to those that weren't here greater than we know it really was from a great game between two sides who really gave their all. Radio Rhino, join the charge on 14.04 a.m. You are listening to Radio Rhino with myself, Stuart Duffy and Phil Kaplan on the commentary of the big match commentary from Headingley. Graham Allroy looks to get the game started. There can't be more than a minute or so left. You may even be into stoppage time now. Leads into the fifth semi-final in a row. And that's a great record. And before anybody uh, checks the record books, and that's the final whistle. Leads are the most successful team in Challenge Cup in the 90s. Yes, tremendous play there from uh, Leeds to get through the the um, semi-final stage. So we're going uh, to semi-final. Can we go all the way to Wembley this year? It'd be nice to think so. Well, it was 20 points to 12 at half-time, and then Leeds came out and scored the first try on 56 minutes after withstanding a lot of pressure there from Featherston. Francis Cummings, it was, who went over. He converted himself, 26 points to 12, and Featherston then, he really faded after that. A whole wide penalty on 73 minutes as soon as he'd come on the field to replace Kemp. Made it 28 to 12, and then a lovely ball from all right again. Three Cummings on the right-hand side, pulling through the gap. Featherston cut their supporters. It's 32 points to 12, Leeds. A great victory then for Leeds Rhinos. Leeds Rhinos in the semi-final. Bradford, they've defeated Oldham 38 points to 12. So the uh, semi-final, and it looks like it's going to be Salford, St Helens, Bradford and the Leeds Rhinos. So Leeds 32, Featherston Rovers 12.